Hey everyone, John Hartley. As promised, UPS man made it here today and delivered my next package from the U.S. Mint. Not these. These ones came in last week, I guess. I started to make this video and the battery went dead, so the box is already open, but it's all right. Just pretend that I had my knife. See, it's, I got my knife. 2018 Breast Cancer Awareness Commemorative Coin Program. Just in case you wanted to read the COA. The only thing different about this COA is that um, the composition from normal U.S. Mint coins that are 90% gold, the composition here is 85% gold, 14.8% copper, and the balance of that is zinc. And the copper is what gives it the pinkish hue that it uh, that it has. When I first saw this coin on um, Sal's uh, video, um, it didn't look pink, <clears throat> but it didn't look like a normal United States gold coin either. But now that I have it in my hand, and I don't know if my, you know, camera is showing the pink anymore. The first video Sal made of the coin, he was literally on the street of Washington, D.C. And, you know, maybe it was the lighting, but. But now that I have this coin in hand, um, there it, it is rose gold. It does have a pinkish hue. Um, if it were any more pink, I think it would be ugly. Um, and you know, I don't. I'm not a fan of of coins that are colored. Um, reminds me too much of when everybody was putting out statehood quarters that were painted or plated or all that and I in my opinion that's post mint damage um and so I'm not a bit I, I don't own any colored coins or anything like that um but this is by composition rose gold or gold that has a more pinkish hue to it so I like it I like the butterfly design the obverse is not my favorite but it's not bad and um, it's the first gold of the year so I'm happy with it. It's a good clean coin. No, no spotting that I can tell right here. Um, no disappointments, disappointments whatsoever. One thing I noticed after making the last video, which I had two wheat cents and two foreign coins, I was putting them into um, numista.com and uh, if you don't know about Nemista, go to Nemista.com, check it out. It's a, it's a website that uh, it's as good as any coin program that I've ever seen that you could, where you um, enter your coins because 
it it's online it's it's completely private nobody can see your page or your coins um and it's maintained and updated by anybody that wants to do it <clears throat> so if it's a, a, an area of coins let's say you like coins from rhodesia if it's if that if they're missing on numista you can put those coins in there all you need is a computer the internet and a camera to take a picture of the coins so <clears throat> but the majority of the coins in the world are already there um i put many of them in myself matter of fact the, when i first got interested in numista and i was putting the coins together putting my coins in there you know i think it was something like one of the new uh, modern commemoratives that had just come out I entered it into Numista and a couple of others and then I contacted the moderator and I'm like Is, are there any areas of coins that are uh, missing off the United States section and he said the first spouse coins um, only about half of them got on there nobody's doing it so I did all from about Lincoln on I did all of those. Um, I entered this one and these two. So it's a, it's a good program. And before you buy something um, that you download onto a computer, check it out. But what I was getting at is um, I noticed after I entered those four coins that my coin collection now consists of and this is not this does not include um my tubes of eagles and tubes of uh, junk silver and tubes of morgans all that stuff's part of my stack not part of my coin collection but my coin collection as it with this coin kind of went over a milestone 4651 coins in my coin collection and it it took me over two years to put all the coins into that program. I didn't do it every day. Um, you know, I'd go through spurts when I did it, and when I do it, I do twenty or thirty coins. And it's not hard to enter them. You just uh, back uh, until about a month ago, you just clicked on it and put in the average, uh, what you guess the average uh, condition of the coin would be. Now they've changed it where not only can you put in and they don't have every different grade of coin they just have five and you put it in the, the category that's the closest your coin is in but now you can put in the value of the coin um, like this one I'll put in the value of what I paid for it it may go up or down later on but, um, and I've seen it start to happen on a few of them when four or more people in the world put a value on a certain coin at the, that the grade that you put in there, it will show up on your, an average will show up of the, of uh, the amount of the value of that coin. And when you enter that coin if you don't agree with the value say you think it's worth more because yours is just extra shiny uh you put in a little more and it'll, and it'll make the average go up so um it it's become more interesting and every day i go in there i see more and more coin not not the you know west african states and stuff like that there's not very many people online collecting stuff like that only weird people like me but um, it was when I was putting in my Lincoln wheat cents, the the uh, the values were starting to show up. So it's uh, it's a good program. Check it out at the very least um, before you buy something. If you have any questions about it, just send me a message, and I'll try to answer those questions. The only thing I have coming in right now is. Uh, 
It was a coin from Great Britain. I bought it from the States, but it's, uh, it's a shilling coin. And it's, it's one of those coins that I saw. I saw that uh, Mike GPO got some coins in the mail and, uh, and he was looking through it and I saw the outburst and I'm like, I need that coin. It's sort of like that uh, Brazil coin that I showed in the last video. It's, it, I want that coin. So I, I found a, a good example at a very reasonable price. Matter of fact, it's too reasonable. So, um, and it, it, was, it was a buy it now, it wasn't an auction. So it's not like I stole it in an auction. It's what the guy asked. So uh, I'll make sure it's a legit coin when it gets here, but that's all I have coming right now. I think I may go in and uh, look on eBay and see if I can get a few more wheat cents because I'm in the 1950s and most of those don't cost too much. So like in the video I did uh, earlier, um, I ordered two from the same guy. So that's all I have going on right now. And, uh, until next time, I'm 1042.